Hello everybody, I'm Derek Tibbers, and welcome back to Dare Steamed and Betrayer! We started to get a little bit steamed last time. We're gonna make the assault on Big Derp Hill here in this episode, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I won't get too steamed. Maybe we'll even win, I don't know. Let's see what we can do about this. Alright, we are. Oh. You save your game and it puts you back here. Where are we? We're there. Okay. Let's go down. Where are we going? We're going to go down the hill over there, then, and attack that. Okay, let's go. Hopefully. Oh, the things respawn. Really? Do you really have to do that, huh, game? You're gonna you're gonna make it so that all the monsters respawn because of. Oh, and he didn't even get hurt. Oh, you screw off. <sighs> Is your friend dead? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that was a good way to start the game. Mayor friend. All right, that was good. We've gotten nowhere. Gotten nowhere. We were down here last time when we we cleared this up. But no, no, says the game. We don't believe in allowing you to have any sort of rest. No, no, you can't clear the game because we're going to respawn like Left 4 Dead 2. Stupid. Stupid, I tell you. I'm. Oh, crap, I'm actually stuck. Oh, wait, I might get, I might get off. No. <laughs> I'm stuck on a tree. <sighs> okay, go back to the Lone Tower. Yay, we made it back the Lone Tower. I hear the noise of a... Okay, I hear the noise of a clue or something, but... No, okay. We will, we will now leave the Lone Tower again. And with no better health than we exited last time. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> I can see the the use of the short bow, the fast speed of a short bow. But its damage profile is so low. Yeah, I know. You're all in there. I just want to find a way up the hill. Maybe even get into a position where I can... Cause some damage. Um, no, I can't. Uh. No, pretty much nothing doing. Cool. All right, where am I to that? Okay, that is down there. All right, that's good. Up oh, there's a thing. Let's go get it. Okay. 
common charm of ferocity. Do I already have that? Crude charm of ferocity. Okay, well, we'll do that. Cool. All right, so we got that. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to breach this place. It's up on a hilltop like this. Which, I mean, you know, in the, the time period we're talking about, actually makes a load of sense because you'd want to be up on the hillside or the hilltop like this because then you'd see anybody approaching. Now, in reality, they wouldn't build in such a way that the approaches would be blocked by these big rocks and stuff. I mean, maybe early on, but one of the very first things they want to do is blast away these rocks so that they could see any approach to their place. Aha, I see you guys. I'm stuck on a log. Of all things, a log. All right. See if we can get up close and personal with these guys. What I really want to do is find where the big ugly went to. Is he? Oh, he's back there. Okay. I think I could kill that guy with a shot. Well, now that he's turned around, I need to wait for him to finish walking. Hmm. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Actually, him getting closer is actually a really good thing. Okay, you're nice and close. Catch it! Where are you, bud? Ah, there you are. I see you. Okay, we get, we dropped that guy. Now my hope is I'll be able to take out a few more of them without alerting everybody. Because if I can do that, it makes it easier for us. There's some guy down there somewhere. Gotta wait for another wind blast. <sighs> it's like Skyrim, only without the fun. I mean, that's kind of mean when you think about it, but... It's true. I mean, Skyrim... Skyrim is like, you know, has all the fun and everything, and... You don't feel like you're constantly just like... Well... The modded Skyrim I played, you were, like, a shot away from death. Alright. Oh, bull crap, dude. Oh, yeah. Woo. I was not expecting that to hit just perfect like that, but I'll take it. All right. I'm not going to go running into this place. Yep, because there's a guy right there. Ugh. Okay. Is he stuck? He might be. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, he's moving along. I'm sure there's a way to tell how many there are. He's going back the other way. Oh, dude. How'd you manage that? Oh, baby, yeah. 
We unlocked the sentry post. Whoo, doggy. All right. Wow. That was hard fought. Silver coin. Oh, the bell. Good old bell. All right. I, I'm just... I'm so happy we managed this. All right, I need to figure out why don't I have all of my arrows. Okay, I can't... Nope, can't do anything with that. I don't think I can do anything with this over here. Oh, wait, I can. Dig! Dig up a crude, stunted wood carving whittled in what is probably supposed to be the shape of a nude woman. It doesn't particularly resemble one. Wooden shavings are scattered on the ground here. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's um, let's click on a few more things to clear out the. Uh, okay, that's where I hang the bell. Cool. Um. Yeah, we can't carry any more of that. Whatever that is. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Can I get... Yep. Woo! 30 coins. All right. Yes, I know. Let's read this. The sentry claims he saw a dog shape moving among the graves, but we found no prints in the soil. The next morning, we discovered George Cossey's grave dug up and his skull missing. How terrible. All right. Map. What do you say? Map says I've got at least one more clue, but I bet you that's buried... No, that's not buried treasure. No... There's a note and a grave. Okay. So there's a note and a grave I'm missing. I want to be cognizant of the fact I'm currently outside the base. And there could be monsters. This way? Yeah, so it's got to be something right along here. Must be inside the base. Is why would it be outside the base? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Ah, there it is, right there. Whether by foul treachery or cruel fate, the Constance is but splinters in the deep. Now I fear we shall never sail away from here again. Probably true. Okay, and then there's a grave. And the grave is... Oh, directly ahead. Okay. Grave, where are you? Ah, grave. How grave? Lawrence Spendlove, beloved chaplain. Well, it's never going to be your chaplain instead. Just saying. It's probably a bad sign. All right, we have taken over the fort. That's a good thing. All right. Let's see what kind of things we have in our inventory to get rid of. We have a rusty musket. A rusty musket and a crude charm of ferocity. Excellent. All right, back to the store. We're going to need some longbow arrows. Because we really need them. And then, let's see here. We'll eventually want to get something like that, I guess. But not right now. Okay, close that. All right, I think we need to go for this right here, which is a note and some clues. Out and around. Out and around. Okay. Now, I know I could ring the bell and use those clues or, you know, whatever. But what I'm thinking is if I find it all, then it's a little bit easier to deal with. Um, so these clothes are going to be somewhere in this direction. All right. 
Probably down here. Ah, down in the pits. Don't hear any monsters. Explosive! That's always good. Alright, what's this? Dug up a grimy playing card. It is the king of diamonds. Atop this makeshift table, you find a single black pearl of modest size and quality. Okay. Dug up a plain leather coin pouch. It contains several coins. Alright, so we're looking for one more thing. There it is right there. My dreams are often troubled of late by the panic of drowning. Not in water, but in loamy soil. It fills my mouth so I, that I cannot scream. That would be a terrible way to go. Alright, so that clears that out. There are... That's a lot of chests, notes. That's a bunch of clues right there, so we need to go there. The other clues are down by that wraith. Okay, notes... The only note left is on the path, so we'll get to that easy. And everything else, it seems, is a chest. Except for that down there, which is a grave. Okay. All right, so let's go over here to this flat plane, hopefully to pick all that stuff up. Whoop. That way. Whoo, boy. i tell you what. This game tries you. This game tries you. You gotta be lucky sometimes. I don't like the respawning monsters, though. I don't. I really dislike that as a game mechanic. I mean, I know they're trying to be like, Oh, it's a scary land where evil roams. I understand that. But if I save the game, save the dead monsters for me. I'd appreciate it. Kai, thanks. Okay, let's see. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. That's the direction I need to go. All right. That's why you always should have a compass when you're out in the woods, by the way. Because if you get lost off the beaten path, um, it's very easy to accidentally end up going in a direction you did not intend to go in. So it's important to have a compass. Goodbye. Whew. All right, I guess I was faster than him. I don't like being out here. It's very open and exposed. We're close to our target. It's going to be right around here. There it is. Yes. Yay! 35 coins. All right, this way? Nope. This way. Yes. West. <coughs> We're going to go westish. Goodbye. <sighs> These guys. They're just particularly persistent. What's this? A musket ramrod embedded in the tree. Someone must have failed to remove it from the barrel before firing. Ooh. That's not good. It caused all kinds of problems. Soft soil in this area is heavy trampled. It seems a battle was fought here. Dug up a splintered arrow with fletching in the Indian style. Alright. Well, that was good. This way? Yeah, that way. Oh, those are all chests, right? Yep. <clears throat> chest, chest, chest. Alright. So I'm kind of thinking, if I get in trouble... This chest has got evil in it. Sealed shut by the mysterious force of evil. Hmm. 
Interesting. That's going to have to be done in order to get out of here, I betcha. Betcha, betcha, betcha. Now, was it northwest? No, it's north. This way. Yes. A little bit eastish. There we go. So I'll have to probably go into the, the dark to pull that chest. 29 coins. Cool. And now you just need to continue up and over for this last chest. Now, of course, I could ignore the chests. But if I do... I think it's going to be harder to have the money I need to buy things. I mean, we've gone how far and we still don't have the money to buy a decent uh, musket. This way. I see you. Alright. Ooh, a crude charm of sol soldiery. We already had one of those. Um, Alright, so let's travel back to the sentry post. Go. Um, let's see what we can do about selling some stuff. Alright, so in our inventory. So we already had the crude charm of soldiering, so we don't need another one. All right, we have 591. Oh, back to inventory. We got a rusty musket. So now we can buy the common musket, or I can wait and buy the quality musket. Yeah, I think we're going to wait and buy the quality musket. I think that's a smart thing to do there. Um, yep, close. Okay, all uh, right. I'm thinking, so which ones are the shadows? Those are the shadows. Oh wait, there's three shadows and one wraith. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. All right. The clues are around that one over there. The note is there, the chests are all there, and the grave is there. So I'm thinking, let's go out and south and see if we can pick up this stuff like that, and then go back, and then we can go that way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking we'll do. If I remember correctly, there's some monsters down this way. So we'll have to, yep, there's some right there. Goodbye. Idiot. <laughs> Now, the first shot should have killed him, but whatever. Yeah, we lost one arrow. All right, where are we going? Uh, slightly to my right towards this thing. Ah, I see it. All right. Woo, 33 coins. Now, we're going to go this direction, actually, to the grave. I think it's a grave. Yes, it is. George Cosby, Cosby lies here. Okay. Well, we found all the graves in this map. Oh, and we're facing the direction we need to go for the next thing. I see it, too. Nice. All right, we're doing well. Oh, this one's covered in death. All right. So we're going to have to get that in the shadow world. That's cool. All right, so if I go this way, we can get to that one and come back. Which wasn't my original plan, mind you, but it will work. Yeah, I caught a YouTube bird. Did I just hear a monster? Whoa! Oh! Catch that one. Goodbye, boy. <laughs> K. 
Okay. Um, all right. Hi. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how I dodged that first shot he took, but... Oof. All right. Um, actually, we're going to go this way and just pick up this one over here. Where? 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 Ow. Ow. Go away. Ow. Don't run on me. <laughs> Jerk. Wow. Man. I'm making all kinds of friends. You want to call them that? All right, where is this thing I'm looking for? Slightly to my right. I hear it now. Where are you? There you are. Don't do that, dear. You'll end up getting stuck. <clears throat> we don't want to get stuck, now do we? No, we don't. Yay, 30 coins. Um, actually, just, just... Oh, there it is. Right there on the hill. Alright. Kind of an odd place to put a chest. Ow! Ugh. That's really starting to piss me off. It's like here, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, make you make this guy appear out of thin air. It's like, give me some sort of warning. There, no, there, yes, there. Ah, such a pain in the butt. Again, I love to think that with enough time spent clearing the area, sorry, this gouge from a struggle and dried blood is spattered and pooled in the wide area, that I would not have to worry about monsters anymore, but I have an Indian style deerskin shoe. Judging by size and shape, it most likely belonged to a woman. All clues found. All right. Okay, let's fast travel back to the sentry post. <sighs> Alright, last venture out before we go to the nighttime. We're going to try to hit that and that. So I think we just follow the road. Follow the road that will show you where... I was going to say the yellow brick road, but that's silly because the road is black and white. Well, the road is white, but the shadows are black. You get what I mean. This isn't the road. Is it? Is this the road? Oh my gosh, it is. I just realized something. I should have gotten more water where I was back at base. Really? Oh, bull crap! Ah! I love the their ability to hit me perfectly every frickin' time with their frickin' muskets. All right, boys. Yep, I figured you were still coming. What? No way!
That is so much crap. I'm sorry. I shot you at near point blank range. And you just go, oh, it doesn't hurt me any. I know you're out there. I heard you. All right. Point blank range. That's crap. All right, where are you? I heard you. Heard you? I even saw you. For goodness sakes. I swear I saw another one of these gibbons. Well, apparently not, because there's no monsters around. All right, fine. <sighs> Ticks me off. Grr. We were so close to having the loot we needed for the, the power-up. We got a weathered short bow, which we can sell, and a rusty musket that we can sell. All right, so let's buy the quality musket. That there. Sell the rusty musket. And then buy as many longbow arrows as we can, which is not going to be enough, but... I hope we can buy one more. There we go. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Like, from range, I get shot. From range. So much crap. I swear there was another dude, but I was wrong. All right, we're going to go around the curve of the road. Aha. So where are you? I see something there. That's not the thing. I don't see you. Where is he? Come on, wind. I need you to blow again, please. I don't know where he is. There we go. Right there. <laughs> I don't know where that first shot went. All right, so we are now Okay, the letter is straight ahead. That is up in the trees. Okay, so we're going to go over here first. I know you're around here. Ah, oh, there you are. They swear that Francis Lavender recently accosted them after dark in the woods to the south in search of his arm, which was sever severed in a raid several months ago. It is clearly a fiction, of course. Lavender did not survive that wound. Great. All right, let's go find this last box. Which I bet you will be corrupted. Where is it? Yep, do ahead. Do ahead, dead ahead. Whatever.
Oh, there it is. Crude charm of it bigger. And it exploded on me. Okay. That's good. Let's go back here. <laughs> Alright. That was fun. Give me that. Alright, so inventory wise, we have the crude charm. Okay, what does vigor give me? Health increased by 5%. So I don't want ferocity, swiftness. You know what? I actually don't want swiftness. I'd rather have vigor. Yep, I'd rather have that. Okay. So let's sell the things we got. Inventory. Let's get rid of the rusty musket and the crude charm of swiftness. All right. Whew. Time to ring the bell, everybody. Time to ring the bell. Everybody ready? I hope so.